You guys will be really proud. Look at that color. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ifeyama and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. As you can see from the title of today's video, I am going to be filming a Zara haul. I ordered so many things. I feel like I always do this part wrong. I've got two huge boxes. You can't even see my face anymore. I'm actually going away on a trip, another trip I know, very soon and I wanted to get a few bits for summertime. Unfortunately, a lot of these pieces didn't work out for me, but I thought that I would show them to you anyway because I think that Zara has a lot of amazing stuff at the moment. So if this is your first time here, my name is Yifanyawa and I make videos all about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I also upload weekly vlogs on Sundays. If you like the vibe at any point, please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. I would really love to have you here. To all my returning subscribers, hey, how are you doing? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the pieces. And also, let me know what you've picked up recently for spring, summer, because I'm still looking for a couple of bits. Ah, I just realized I forgot to put my rings on. <laughs> okay, before before we get started on the haul, did you guys know that Zara offers same day delivery? Because I didn't know that. <laughs> this is the first time I ever tried it and I kid you not, my stuff came on the same day. I placed my order at maybe 6 o'clock in the morning and everything was delivered at 10 p.m. I mean granted if I needed the things for that same day it's a little too late but I was really impressed by that and it was $7.95 for same day delivery so I wanted to mention that. So let's get started on the top I'm wearing. So this top I just thought it's so pretty. It's a really nice embroidered linen blend top. I got it in the size medium and it was $29.99. It also comes with a matching skirt. This was one of the things that I really, really liked from the haul. The top just didn't fit me properly. Oh, apologies by the way, if there's, if there's any background noise, you guys know how it is. Most homes in the UK don't have air conditioners. So once the summer's here, background noise is here. Um, so yeah, I really like the quality of this top. I really like how easy it is. I really like the detail and the straps as well. It just fit really awkwardly. So I ended up buying it in a medium, but I'm actually going to reorder it in the small. And I think I might actually try to get my hands on the matching skirt because I'm curious to see what it will look like together. The skirt was 60 pounds though. That was another reason why I didn't get the skirt. Ooh, I got two pairs of shoes. So I have been on the hunt for a pair of true gold shoes for a very long time. But I haven't even tried these on properly. I just kind of put my foot in one and they fit, so I think I'll keep these. They were really inexpensive, they're $32.99. And the main reason why I really like them is because they're true gold. A lot of the gold shoes that I've been ordering more recently, they come and they're this champagne-y gold. And sometimes you just want like a true gold. I think it looks really nice on my skin tone. And this is just one of those shoes that will go with everything. My only thing that I don't love about these is they have that like wrap around your foot detail. But in the grand scheme of things, I think that it's probably a little bit more interesting, but I just like things to be really simple. You guys know that about me. Like, I wish it was just a simple strap. They're not the most comfortable shoes, I will say. There's not much of a platform, but for the most part, I think that they are good value. And I like Zara shoes, even though they're not the most comfortable, I think they look nice. <laughs> so I actually got another pair of shoes from Zara as well. These are their white patent slingbacks. I have their leather ones. I've had those for several years and they're probably one of my most worn shoes and they're starting to look really beat up. However, I didn't know that these were patent when I bought them. I thought that they were leather. I don't like patent, especially not in light colors because I just feel like once it starts to rub together, these are going to be ruined. So I am going to go online and see if I can get this plain leather white sling back because I definitely need a new pair. But again, these were $32.99. Very affordable. I mean, I say affordable. I feel like Zara shoes used to be like 20 pounds. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. <sighs> this dress still upsets me. This is their Camille dress, I think it's called. The Camille dress. I got it in a size large. It was $49.99. This is a part of their linen blend range that they're doing at the moment. I love the style of this dress. Do you guys remember when Rihanna had a clothing line called Fenty? I never bought anything from that clothing line, but this dress reminds me of a dress that she had. I love a shirt dress. I love the structure of this dress. However, it just doesn't fit me properly. It's too baggy on the top, too tight on the bottom. Uh-oh, what's happening with my hair? And in all fairness, that's kind of like a common issue that I have with these sorts of dresses. This thing is bothering me. Let me change my chair. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> 
so back to the Camille dress. I, I love this dress. I feel like the construction of it looks really good. The stitching is really clean. I love this dress. I'm tempted to try it in an XL and then see if I can maybe get the top taken in. I don't know, this dress just didn't fit me the way it's supposed to fit, to cut a long story short. Okay, you guys have to let me know what you think about this one because this top I just think is so fun. <laughs> it's just like white poofy, actually I'll just put up the cutaway. So last year, Zara actually did a similar top to this and I wasn't able to get my hands on it. By the time I saw it, it was out of stock. And I remember just really liking it. It was almost like a rosette pattern last year. So when I saw this, this one's more of like a wave. And there's something about the width of it and the volume that I think is a little unflattering on me. That's the only reason why I don't think I want to keep it, but it is so fun. So I don't know, you guys have to let me know what you think about this top. So I got it in a medium and it was $19.99, which again, for Zara tops these days, not bad. I do think that this is the kind of top that you would probably have to wash by hand. It's probably really delicate, probably not going to have as many opportunities to wear it because it's definitely more of a statement piece, but it's really, really easy to get on. I don't think I showed this in the cutaway, but it has this ribbed detail in the back. So it's very stretchy. It's almost like knitwear. Let me know what you guys think. I got these shorts. <laughs> if you guys remember my summer haul from last summer, Zara released some shorts that were very similar to this, but they were all white. And then they had like a lace that overlaid the cotton. They were really, really popular last summer. Gave Zimmerman vibes. These also give a very similar Zimmerman vibes. They have this really nice embroidered detail. They're so nice. I feel like they're really good quality for how much they were. I think they were like 32 pounds, let me confirm. 35.99, I got them in a large and an extra large. I think the extra large fit me better on the, in terms of the length and the thigh, but they just weren't very flattering. To be honest, when I got the white ones last year, I did have to take the waist in. So I do think that if I do decide to keep these, I'll probably keep the extra large and get the waist taken in but I'm still trying to decide if I like these enough to do that. Even with the white shorts, sometimes they feel too short to wear. I'm just not very confident in wearing shorts, shorts anyway. So I'm kind of like, mm, if I'm already umming and eyeing, maybe these are not the right shorts for me, but I just think that this will look so nice with like a white shirt for like a really nice evening dinner look. Like, wouldn't that be beautiful? The jury's still out. Let me know what you guys think. On to a strong yes. You guys will be really proud. Look at that color. <laughs> You guys would be really proud to know that this summer I'm really trying to introduce more color into my wardrobe. I've been buying little pops of color accessories. I, I want to have some color in my wardrobe. So this is the dress that I ended up picking up. So I ended up going with the large and this dress fits really, really nice. I really liked it. It was $32.99, which I think is pretty good for Zara these days. It feels like a linen blend milk made dress. It has like a faux corset detail. I just think dresses like this are really easy to wear around this time of year. I would probably wear this with a straw hat or something like a wicker basket bag and some sandals and you could just go along your way. That's one thing I really like about summer dresses. You don't really have to do too much. They just kind of style themselves. And I just think it's always nice to have something with a little bit of color every now and again. Although I will say that I think this dress would look so nice and white. After I've said all of that that I've just said, oh gosh. In a similar vein to the whole, ooh, let's do color now. I also went for this orange dress. Even on the website, I didn't think it was going to be my style, but when it came, I was really excited because the fabric, again, they just have this really beautiful linen blend fabric in Zara at the moment. And I just thought the color looks so nice against my skin tone. It's coming across as more saturated on camera. It's almost, it's called a burnt orange color on the website, but that's not accurate. It's definitely a bright orange, but not like neon bright, but I like the shade of orange. This dress was $49.99. Yeesh. I didn't end up taking off the the paper wrapping around the bees because this dress just it did not fit me. I got it in a medium. I think it tells you on the website that you need to size down in this dress. So I did and it didn't fit me. Like I would probably need to go back and get a small. And in all honesty, I didn't love the style of the dress enough to try to do that. So this dress is definitely going to be a no for me. Now, this swimsuit. You know when they start telling you, you know, a few items left and you're dilly-dallying and then it comes back and it's like, oh, sorry, this thing is out of stock. Take it out of your basket. One that happened with this, I was really upset. So this is actually a bathing suit and it has this really cool crocodile detail 
on the side. And I just thought this would be such a nice statement piece to wear as a top. I had the medium and the large both in my basket because I noticed that it looked a bit small even on the model. So I wanted to try the medium and the large. This fits me, but I just think a large would give me a bit more coverage. This, I just feel like is a bit too booby. It's just a shame, it doesn't fit me right. And I'm going to try and see if I can get it in the large. If not, I'm gonna to have to send it back. It was $29.99. It says that the padding is removable as well, which is great. I don't know how comfortable this would actually be to swim in though, because I feel like this would probably rust. Yeah, it's actually a metallic little thing. I don't know how that would actually work, but I really, 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 really was upset about this one. This is another maybe. So I'm going to just put a cutaway because I can't really show you what this dress looks like on the camera. Zara have been doing these long tube dresses. They have the denim one that pretty much went viral, this white one. I think they also have this in silver. And I've been wanting to try on one of them because I just think that they're the kinds of dresses that cut across so many different occasions. Like you could definitely dress this up. You could definitely dress this down, especially the denim one. I think the denim one is really, really versatile, but I actually had an opportunity to buy it in store, but I, I just, I wasn't really a fan of how the fabric felt in real life. Anyway, back to this one. The fabric in this feels really good. It feels like really good quality. I feel like this dress would work really well for a bridal event, for like a bridal shower. There's just something about the way the dress fit on me that I just wasn't really a fan of. I got it in the large. It was $45.99. I wasn't able to zip it up by myself, but that's because I was at home by myself. I feel like if someone was here to help me, I could definitely have zipped it up. But things like that make me nervous. I never want to have a dress or any item of clothing that I can't get into by myself. That's number one. And number two, I didn't really feel that comfortable in it. I know that if I don't feel good in something, I'm probably not going to want to wear it. So that was my main thing. So I say all that to say that I do think it's worth trying if you can get your hands on it because I think it would be such a versatile piece in your wardrobe. But for whatever reason, it just didn't, it didn't make me feel good in it. So it's gonna have to go back. This top was very disappointing, guys. Again, it's a white shirt, so I'll just show you what it looks like. This shirt I got in a size large. It was $35.99. I really like a white shirt. If you're not new here, you know this, but I really like white shirts that have interesting details. And there was something about the wrap effect of this that I thought would be really, really cool. The sleeves were too short. It was a bit too boxy around like my waist and stuff. So it wasn't actually very flattering. I know that if I want more of a sleeve length, I probably need to go up a size and then it would fit too big on the body. So that's pretty much why this shirt didn't work out. But again, if you're not as tall as me, I'm 5'8", and I do think that my arms must be quite long, I think. But again, if you're, I guess, more evenly proportioned, I do think that this shirt is really, really nice. For $35.99 though, do I think it is worth the quality? I don't know if it's cotton or not, let me check. I think that will determine whether I think it's worth it or not. It's 100% cotton. So yeah, I actually do think it's worth it. The fabric feels good. I think that it would be like a really easy piece to style. And there's something about it that I think looks a lot more expensive than you would think it is. So Zara also had these really interesting looking, I don't know how to describe this fabric. Almost like a, it feels satiny almost but it's not shiny. But I just really like to have flowy trousers. I think they're so easy to just pull up, put on over a bathing suit, put on over a bodysuit and go about your day very relaxed. I think these have been really, really popular because the only size that they had in stock on the website was a medium. I got a medium in both a light beigey color and the black and they were both too small. So I would probably need to reorder this in a large or an extra large if I want it to drape the way it's supposed to drape. But then I still think it would be too short. One plug that my mom actually put me on was Marks and Spencers for trousers. Cause one of my biggest issues with Zara trousers is that they're usually too short for me. My mom was like, you know, m and does tall trousers. And I just don't know why I never thought to try out m and trousers. So I actually think I'm going to order a bunch of trousers from m and because I recently saw a TikTok on someone talking about their linen trousers being really good quality as well. So yeah, I'm not reordering these to cut a long story short because I don't really like the quality of them, but I will be trying to get some tall trousers from m and <laughs> This is another piece that I need your help on. So I've realized that when it comes to my wardrobe, I'm very much so 
deficient in my bottoms. I know that sounds so weird the way I put it, but I wanted to add in more skirts. So I got two skirts and neither of them, unfortunately, am I very excited about, but this is probably my favorite of the two. So this white skirt, again, I'll just put a cutaway, is from Zara, duh. I got it in a size medium. It was $32.99. My main issue with this skirt is the buttons are really, really shiny. I do think that I could replace the buttons quite easily, although I would need a lot of buttons. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons. But I just think something about the style that's very classic and I liked the way it skimmed over my hips. I think I need more A-line things in my wardrobe. I like this skirt because I think I could wear it to work. I could also wear it casually. However, I'm not really liking the fabric. The fabric feels very, almost like that crinkly polyester fabric, which is I don't really like as much. And also it's a little see-through. So in the try-on, you can probably see my underwear through the skirt. And that's not a good sign because that means that if I do want to wear it, I have to wear it with like a slip or something. And it's just too hot for that. Yeah, 100% polyester. I don't know, but it has a nice weight to it. Then the other skirt I got has the same exact buttons actually now that I think about it. This one was $29.99, also in a size medium. This one has a slit though, so this would definitely be more of a nighttime skirt. Again, the fabric just feels very cheap, but again, it was $29.99, so I guess, I don't know about this one. Again, if I do decide to keep this, I would change the buttons. It would probably be strictly a nighttime skirt, so not really exactly what I'm looking for. I really like those satin silk midi skirts. I've actually had a couple in the past, but they just never suit me. I've even bought one and had it taken in and it still didn't suit me. So honestly, I think that these kinds of ones that are more of an A-line shape look better on me. But maybe I need to invest in some better quality ones. This cord was very, very, very disappointing. I'm not going to lie. <sighs> I'll put up what it looks like. My main issue with this was the fabric. The moment I felt the fabric, I was really, really confused. I thought it was going to be like a linen type of fabric and it feels like taffeta. That's the only way I can describe it. You know, like that stuff that goes underneath like poofy skirts to give it structure. It almost feels like that. It doesn't feel like anything that would be comfortable for this time of year. So I definitely think they chose the wrong fabric for this. I really, really love the style of this top, but the fabric, as soon as I put the fabric on, I was like, no, absolutely not. And the skirt is very, very unflattering for me. I got the top in a medium, which was $22.99. And then I got the skirt in a medium as well, and it was 50 pounds. Bro, Zara's actually bugging with some of these prices. 50 pounds for this skirt. No, so it's definitely going back, sorry. Absolutely not. This piece has a bit of a story, which I actually told you guys in my vlog, but I'll tell you here because I appreciate that not everyone watches my vlog. So have a look at this jacket and I'll tell you the story. So the second I saw this jacket, which was I think a couple months ago now, I instantly knew that it was a dupe for the Ganny denim jacket. This is the Ganny denim jacket. This jacket went viral, I think at some point, but the first time I actually saw it was this year. I know late to the party. I think this jacket came out in like 2020, late 2021, I think this jacket came out. But I first saw it on Fasayo Longe, who if you do not know, she is a fashion influencer and she also has her own fashion line called Kai Collective. Her style is just impeccable. I saw her wearing this jacket, I think back in March or something. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, what? I need that jacket. <laughs> I ran to the website, my size was out of stock. I put all my restock notifications at least twice because I remember checking multiple times and it never came back in stock. Of course, I went down the deep dive, watched all the reviews, found out that Michelle Obama had wore the jacket, which is probably why it went as viral as it went. To cut a long story short, my size just never came back in stock and I kind of forgot about it, to be very honest. Fast forward to last week or so, I was out with a couple of my friends and one of my friends was wearing this jacket. And I was like, oh, yes, I remember really wanting this jacket. So I went down the rabbit hole. I tried to look for it on different websites, you know, Louisa Roma, Liberty, Harrods, all the people that stock. Ganny, every single person that had this jacket, it was either out of stock or they only had it in like a UK size six or size eight. 
So it was like absolutely no go. I couldn't get my hands on the original jacket. I was now calling the Ghani stores to be like, I'm trying to hunt this jacket down. I need a size 12 or a size 14. Please, is there any way I can get this jacket? And they're like, no, we don't have it. And I asked her, do you think you're going to restock it? I've been waiting on the restock for several months. And the woman's like, no, I don't think so. It's really, really popular and it's actually quite old. Then I remembered that I had a very similar experience when I bought these Nike Metcons and they were completely out of stock in the UK, couldn't find them anywhere and I was able to find them very easily on the American Nike store. So I decided to just check all the different locations. I checked every single Ghani store and of course they have it in stock in all the sizes on the American website. So I'm already getting excited. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna order it. I'm gonna get my friend to bring it for me. It's like a whole thing. I was having so many difficulties because I have a UK card. They wouldn't accept it. It was a whole thing. So I decided to call the Ghani store again and explain to them what was happening. And to like, look, is there a way you can order the jacket from America for me? I'm having issues ordering it. And she was really, really lovely, the woman that I called. The, the, the Ghani staff over the phone anyway have been very, very helpful. And she's like, yeah, no, that, that's something that we're not able to do, but it is something that we're hoping we'll be able to do soon. However, I can see that we have one size 12 on our website. Sorry, since when? <laughs> I didn't get a restock notification. <laughs> I quickly go on the website, literally while I'm on the phone to her, because she's all, oh, you know, I can help you place the order for over the... While she's talking to me, I'm literally just like, check out, add to cart, put it like, literally I bought it. Literally while I was on the phone to her, because it was saying only one left. I was rushing so much, I put in my email address wrong. Like the whole thing, like shambles. But I was able to confirm my order. Apparently it's being shipped from the Netherlands and I picked their free delivery option, which apparently takes like 10 working days. So only God knows when this jacket's going to get to me. But I say all that to say that I have the original jacket that I really wanted now. Did you need to know all of that? No. However, I ordered this deep <laughs> before all of that happened because I thought, you know what, if I'm not going to be able to get my hands on the original, let me at least try out the dupe. So the dupe kind of came before I was able to order the original and the dupe did not fit the way I wanted it to fit at all. I mean, I think Zara does a really good job at dupe sometimes, but with this particular jacket, I think the beauty of the Ghani jacket, first of all, the collar, like the collar being open in that way. I don't know what it's called, but that collar is very unique. And it almost means that you can wear that jacket as a top. Whereas because of this collar is like a traditional denim jacket, you kind of have to wear this as a jacket, at least I think. And then the second detail that I really, really like on the original Ghani one is the oversized shoulder pads, like, oh. and the cinched in weight. Oh. There's so much detail on that jacket. It's just such a statement piece. And I do think that if this jacket fit me, then that would be great, but it didn't fit me. The only thing that I could see that's similar between this and the dupe is that the shade of blue and that this also has a narrow slim waist, but it just didn't fit me right. It was too, again, big at the top and a bit too tight on the bottom. And if I did wear this, I would have to wear it with the two lower buttons open, which honestly is not a problem because I think I might essentially have to end up doing that with the Ghani one when it comes as well. But this jacket just gave me jacket vibes. It didn't give me like pow vibes, if that makes sense. This is the fitted denim jacket by Zara. I got it in a size medium. They tell you to size down on the website and the large was actually sold out. So I don't know. I do think that this is a beautiful jacket on its own and I think that if you're able to style it, possibly even customize the collar to make it look more like the Ghani jacket to be honest, but I really don't think I need it if the Ghani one comes and it works for me. So I might just actually send this back because it was also quite expensive, it was 60 pounds, which I mean compared to the Ghani one, it's actually not that bad. <laughs> that was a really long story that you probably have no interest in knowing, but anyway. Yeah. So yeah, guys, we've come to the end of my haul. Have you tried on any of the pieces that I showed in the haul? If you did, let me know what you think about them. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to also let me know if you have any other shops that you want me to check out. I know there's cost, I know there's another one, but I can't remember what the other one was that I actually wanted to check out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in my next one very soon. Stay blessed, stay safe, and take care.